Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Yes, it's that time again. It is time for the older man's random reviews. The older man random reviews. Learn about life from an older man. Yes, an older man. All right. So we got a bunch of videos that you as viewers have sent me for me to actually get my opinions on them. All right. So let's get straight into it. And here we have a beautiful young lady who is saying this. I don't want kids. I never wanted to have kids. I am child free by choice. The older I get, the more sure I am of this decision. Every time I express this, people start going against me. They think I hate children. Not true. They think I am judging people who have children. Also not true. They think I still have time. Time for what? They think I will change my mind. How rude and disrespectful of my opinions. They think I have psychological issues. I mean, who doesn't, but I don't think that's the reason. They think something happened to me. They think I will adopt 15 cats. I mean, I love cats, but I'm allergic to them. They think I cannot find a partner. I've been in a happy relationship for a long time. They push their opinions onto me. They think I'm broken. What? They think my life has no purpose. You know what I think? It's time to change all of these. To be more vocal. Because freedom, freedom of choice, matters. I don't want kids. Listen, this young lady lives in a world where choice, for her, is everything. She has it all. This is the problem. This is what we call a first world problem that all of these young ladies have. Here's the reality of life for this young lady. She's young, she's hot as hell, and she's absolutely self-absorbed. That's the reality of life for her. Self-absorbed. She don't ever have to worry about lifting a finger. Every man will be jumping at her to do whatever she asked them to do. So she lives in a very privileged life. She's in absolutely no rush to actually secure a man. Right now, she thinks time is limitless for her, and this is the way life will work for her for eternity. I've seen hundreds of women like her over my lifetime. Unfortunately, reality will sink in when she's lost her youth and beauty. It's It happens to 100% of these women. That's it. What a, What is our purpose as human beings? Let's, let's eliminate all this idea about happiness, etc. What is our purpose as a species on this earth? It's simple. The men are designed to protect and provide and build society. The females, their job is to nurture and reproduce, to incubate the next generation. Every single species, and I've said this in every single one of my videos where I've gotten women like this with this attitude. Your only task as a female that men cannot do is to incubate a child. That's it. You can't have a child on your own. The man has to provide the seed. So you carry it, you incubate it, right? Of course, now we have incubators where eventually a womb won't, won't be necessary. All we need is the egg and the sperm, put that together, and kids will be born in test tubes and born in labs because women don't want to bear the kids anymore. That's coming. It's been done already. It's just that it's going to become mainstream after a while. As men, as women become more like men, that's going to be the only way we're going to be able to repopulate the earth. Because women like her are thinking like this. We have literally raised a generation of narcissistic women who are so self-absorbed that they have lost sight of the fact that they are women. They're females. Their job is to freaking have kids. This idea, oh, I'm no baby-making machine. Yes, 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 you are. Yes, you are. You can deny it all you want, but you cannot be a man and expect the population to survive. You are a baby-making machine. It is not an insult. It is what you are biologically designed to do. Men can't do it, so who else is supposed to do it? We live in this disillusioned society where feminism have told you, you could be and do anything you want. You could be a man. You could be a man if you want. You could do whatever man can do. Do they tell men that? Yeah, you can be a woman. You could do whatever women can do. 
No, we can't. Even though men are trying hard to do what men, women can do, there's some idiot out there now trying to have a womb inserted. There's idiots out there, stupid men out there, who are now supposed to be called women, who are trying to insert an artificial uterus, have a uterus transplant so that they can become women. We live in a bizarro world right now. But in reality, her time will come. She'll wake up. When she's no longer hot, Nah, unfortunately, the wall and father time always, always win. Always win. Let's let's see the next one. I think you're more marketable now than you were in your mid twenties. Hundred percent. Okay, and yep. what about when you get to your forties? You'll still be good? Even more value. Yep. Yep. So take a woman like Kim Kardashian, she's lost her value now? Yes. Definitely. Yep. It doesn't seem like it when you walk outside and her picture's everywhere and you say her name, everyone drops. Do you think men care about status and money? Yes. The answer is no. That's why Kim hasn't been able to keep a guy long term. That's her choice. Same with JLo. Men don't give a fuck about a woman's status or money. I, I wouldn't say that every woman loses her value as she gets older. Some women at 30 are way better than 20. To who? To who? I just think a man that's your age, if they take a younger woman, say 22, she's not smart enough to see how bad he can be in some ways. It's harder to fool a that's younger woman. for the man. It's good for the man. For me right now, like, if I meet a guy your age, I can see through a lot of things that a woman 20 can't see. So, your baggage. I We're back to the same old stupid argument. One, Western society have glorified prostitution and glorified porn stars. The fact that she mentioned Kim Kardashian. None of the scientists, none of the great thinkers, none of the great educators. A bloody porn star because that's all kim kardashian is she became famous from freaking screwing another guy on video that's it and her mother made an empire out of this that's the society that we live in right now every woman thinks that she's famous because she spread her legs and other people glorified it and then as she get older you think that she's getting any valuable and they've convinced other women that because she's still getting notoriety by the mass media and because she's used a lot of her money to produce other products that she is now more valuable to who to who which self-righteous which man of with any pride is going to marry her and walk out of the house feeling like hey i got myself a prize any man that get involved with that is a lesser man in the eyes of other men doesn't matter how she dress up how much freaking botox and how much spanks and spandex and personal trainers she get in the eyes of other men she has very little value despite the amount of wealth that she has made from being a porn star gotta remember ladies value is only determined by the individuals who are buying the product and if it's all the men and the men say that is not valuable to us that is the value a woman's value is only determined by what she contributes to society or how other men value her and if this woman is contributing a sex tape to show how she could get piped down by some endowed black man on video if that is her value to society who the hell needs that what value would you put behind that any tom dick and harry can do that shit. anybody i can do that tomorrow anyone can do that that takes absolutely no talent every other woman is getting on only fans and doing that every other day the price of porn has dropped so low right now that that of workers and women who are in the sex industry are making a lot less money yes the top 10 percent they're making a killing and those are the ones that you're gonna hear on these websites but you're not gonna hear about the 90 percent of women who are barely making enough money to feed themselves. McDonald workers are making more money than these girls right now. That's the reality of life. So no, there's no value to Kim Kardashian. People like to talk about how nice and calm and sweet women are and how women are not the barbarians, you know. But I beg to differ. Women are a lot more dangerous when it comes to revenge scorn and it's displayed here in a bunch of different football clips where women are attacking each other outright because women cannot control their emotion
Oh man, they will even get in each other's way just to get on that podium. Teamwork amongst women is not something that they can understand. Men understand hierarchy. Men know that's the forward, that's the goal scorer, pass the ball off to him. You got three forward running towards the ball, tripping over each other and losing the ball because they all want to score. Yeah, <laughs> it's just... It just shows you the nature of females. They're very, very emotional creatures, a lot more than men, and it's very difficult for women to work together because everybody has to be equal. Oh, we can all score. Let's move to the next one. Okay, so how was it meeting me? Um, you look ugly because in the video, you don't have pimple, and, uh, and you have pimple here. You look ugly. So you think I'm ugly? Yes. I don't want to have kids now because of you. But you're not going to have the same kid. Yeah, you're right. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I love this little kid. The reality of it is when a young kid see that these women wear so much damn filters on their videos, then when she sees them in real life, I love the honesty of a kid. She can't hold back. She's telling you the truth. I'm glad they posted this because this little girl is just telling it like it is. She's being honest. You got pimples. You're uglier than what you look like on your videos. Yes. <laughs> and the comeback was brilliant. You're not going to have the same kid. In other words, not all kids are as smart as I am, lady. <laughs> oh that was brilliant uh let's go to the next one hell you know what i'm saying i did most of the movies on cocaine all about the benjamins i was man i used to sit in ice cubes trailer in the morning and be crying tears he like mike wipe your, wipe your face man you a king nigga stop doing this shit to yourself i'm sitting there wiping myself because i was really 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 i was really i had survivor's remorse I was so sad that I left all them niggas here in this city and I was famous. And when I would come home, I wanted them to be happy for me and they was mad at me. Mm. So I said, damn, I got to destroy myself for you to like me. Mm. I was like, damn, my favorite nigga. It seemed like he liked me more when I'm coming down off coke and I'm crying and I hate myself. He was like, oh, man, I love you, nigga. I'm praying for you. But when I wasn't high and I was working out and I looked good. He's like, nigga, you think you better than me. Mm -hmm. I said, nigga, how is my success a reflection of your, your failure? Mm -hmm. And that's what happens to the kids. They around here killing themselves, trying to fit in with somebody who's fucked up. That, my friends, is a very, very revealing, eye-opening video. Gentlemen, ladies, you must learn to understand that part of toxic human nature is that we want our friends to be where we are because it's comfortable if they are on our level we feel like they're still there if your friend starts to excel you far higher than you you now have to work hard to get up to where they are and if you can't see yourself up there you will try to drag them back down whether it's conscious or subconscious this is what you're doing be careful that you're not doing that when your brothers when your friends have gone up here you say boss tell me man what can i do what can i do help me out tell me how can i get there pull me up help me get me up there get me up there get me up. that is what you should be doing but don't try to pull him down don't try to pull her down this happens all the time. I've had it happen with me. And what I had to do is just let those people go. Let them go. If you're holding them up by a rope, if you're trying to pull them up by the rope and they are freaking shooting at you from down there, they're shooting arrows at you while they're holding on to the rope. You got to learn to cut that damn rope. You can't save them all, my friend. You got to tell them, stop shooting at me. Stop shooting at me. Stop trying to pull me down because remember guys when someone is pulling on a rope to climb up in essence you got to be careful they're not pulling the rope down with you at the other end this i think is one of the best analogies i can give you as they're climbing they're pulling the rope down 
and you are falling down with them, you're coming back down to their level because they feel that ah, when we're here, we're good. No, stay up there. You know the expression, it's lonely at the top? It's because of this one simple reason. Most people don't have the opportunity, don't have the luck or the skill to get to where you're at. And more important, the discipline and the hard work that you put in, most people don't have that. So be careful. I love this video. I love how the brother put it together. I can feel it. What is it? Yes. One of a kind. <laughs> How much? Oh, they're not for sale. What do you mean they're not for sale? The stones were forged in Whitebone Cave during the Qing Dynasty. I bring them out simply to admire. Name your price. <laughs> it's really not about money. Anyway, I'm actually closing. 20,000. <laughs> I'm sorry. 50 then for the pair. Oh. Well, they do look magnificent on you. But what would my ancestors say? 100,000. Let me wrap those up for you. What is it? Yes. Mm. Is it? Yes. Guys, remember, do not make emotional purchases. Do your research. Don't let the salesperson grab you emotionally and suck you in. Learn to walk away. 99% of the time, it's bullshit. Anytime you feel that you are emotionally involved in the sale and you know that the person has their hooks into your emotion, walk away. Go somewhere else and buy the product. Women get caught with this shit many, 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 many more times than men do. Because women are emotional creatures compared to men. Not saying men don't get caught in this stuff. There's a very distinct reason why beautiful women do very well selling high ticket items because men get caught up in fact that I need to impress her. You come here to Dubai and you come into some of these real estate firms. Oh, some of these girls are gorgeous, man. Woo, gorgeous. Some Russians, some beautiful Arab women. Oh, Lebanese girls selling you stuff, man. Oh, it's, it's, it's mind blowing. Yeah, making a mint off of men who just can't say no to a beautiful woman. Trust me, don't get emotional when you're making a purchase. This one is really cute. I'm just, you know, a 103 year old man reunites with his wife after she spent a month in the hospital. <laughs> yep, even at a hundred and three, he's still horny. <laughs> I'm kidding, but you, but <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm kidding, but, but probably is actually. But the point is, you see how adorable life is, how fulfilling life is. When you still have that significant other next to you, even at 103, that feeling that you get, you could see it written on his face, on both of their faces. There is nothing sweeter than having someone who you have spent a lifetime with to the end of your time. We are living longer and there's nothing better than having that significant other with you right to the end. That feeling that you see with these two, you can't buy that shit. You cannot buy that. And that's what we should all be yearning for now, right through to the end of our time. I want to have that with my wife right up until the end. Yeah, there is nothing else I can say about this video, but it, but it should make you feel feel what you should be looking for. But you can't get that in instant relationships. That you get after building 40, 50 years together. So start now, my friends, start now. Find that person and stick with him, ladies. Find that woman, gentlemen, stick with her. If I knew that dating was gonna be this bad, when I was in college and my parents was like, focus on that education, the boys will always be there. Don't focus on the boys. Get that degree. I would have never gotten that degree 
I could have skipped a couple classes. I could have failed a couple classes. And I could have been married, two kids by now, working on the third. I can't believe I wasted my good years, my good body. Ooh, and the body was bodying back then. So that I can get a high class education. Just for me to be broke and single? Yes. And that is what's happening to the majority of ladies. I told my wife, listen, I'm not interested in sending our kids to college to get a degree. I said, I want them to go to college to find an eligible mate while they're getting a degree. And I don't want her there for four years. I'm not spending that money on her to get a degree for four years, two years, get a higher education of two years. She find a good man. She focus on getting married. And after she's had her kids and after she has settled as a woman and no understand what she wants after the kids, then she can go back because what I've found with a lot of women, and I'm talking about normal type of relationships where a woman has gone to college, got her four year degree. Okay. Let's just say it's in human studies, uh, psychology or marketing, right? Then she's met a guy, they got married, had kids nine, 10 years later. Okay. The kids have sort of settled. I want to go back to college or I want to start working full part-time, but I don't want to get into marketing or psychology. I want to do something else, but her degree is in marketing and psychology. Now she wants to go back to college to do a second degree in human resources, just saying hypothetically. So all that money that she invested, all that time and money she invested for that four years and that degree that's sitting there with this large student loan that she did it in. Now she got to go back and do another student loan to get a different degree. Make it make sense. Happens time and time and time and time again. So my suggestion for all of you that have young ladies that are looking at doing a, getting a career and going to college, go to college two years. And in that two years, you know that you can find a mate two years, find a good guy, find a good guy with a, some potential. You form a relationship after that two years, you know, Hey, listen, I'm looking to get married. You guys get married. You guys start a relationship. He might finish up his four years. You get a little part, you start working. Get a little part-time job. Start paying off some of those bills. Cool. Then once you've gotten married, settle down. You know what to do after that. Simple guys. That's the only way to save money. All right. Let's go on to the next one. So my brother just married a woman. He's only known for seven months. Months. Congratulations to my brother. And I love him. Right. But this is the twist. He was with a woman for 10 years. Everything she asked my brothers to do, he is doing for this woman that he has only known for seven months. Bottom line, bro, I love you if you're watching this, but I had to share it. Stop begging these men to do things you need to be done because he is not going to change for you. He will never be the man you need him to be because you are not the woman that he wants to be with. People change for who they want to change for. Stop preaching and start waiting patiently for your husband. You don't understand men. Men will place you in two boxes. I've said this many times. Sex box or marriage box. The man will put you in the sex box. If you cannot fight your way out of that sex box to jump into the marriage box, you are doomed. Because as long as the man is getting free sex, consistent sex, he's going to hit it for 10 years. He's in no hurry. So for 10 years, this man has hit that sex box and the woman never complained. She didn't insist on getting married. She didn't say, Hey, my time is running out. I need to get out. The man had no interest in marrying this woman, but she was a placeholder in the sex box until he found a right woman. And that man knew probably within the first three months, that was wife material. And within seven months, he married her. And then he pretty much performed his duties accordingly. This is the problem with women. They don't realize, hey, I'm not in that box. More than likely, she was one of those women that basically said, I'm not performing any wife duties until he performs husband duties. Because you can't live with a man for 10 freaking years. And the man said, no. Shit, no, you were never performing any wife duties because a man who saw that, hey, she's wife material, 
she deserved to be wifed up, he would have done it within seven months. And so, when I give advice to women about how long she should be with a man before she should be proposed to or she should get out, I say six to nine months. That's it. If he hasn't given you any indication at all that he would like to marry you within 90 days, that's three months, you either start dropping hints and if he don't take the bait, get the hell out. On month four and month five, get out. Start looking at escaping at that point. Because a man will drag it. If you've given up some panani consistently and you're not doing anything else, you're in the sex box, my friend. Simple. Nothing else to say about that. Why didn't I marry my daughter's father? Because I didn't want to. And he was, I mean, we were not. That was not the path that I took for a reason. I'm asking why. I was, I mean, I just didn't want to. He wasn't marriage material. That was. But he was we birth material. Yeah, he he was someone that I did have a child with. No man, and that's okay. See, I want you to, I mean, and, and see, as the reason a man, I'm doing this, man, the reason I'm doing this is I want you to understand these women are so much character driven, and I want you to listen to the answers. Get over my tone. Listen to the intent. These character-driven women, I ask you a question. She's not being direct. It's not something I wanted to do. Then why did you make a baby with me? I wanted to. Why did you exactly. make a baby with who you wanted to make And there we go. There we go. There we go. When they start answering questions with questions, they're triggered and deflecting. This is how you marry your child's father. It's unbelievable. The more you listen to women, they all start to sound the same. The second she was triggered, she tried to shame him. She tried to deflect and shame him. I can tell you what happened with this woman, man. She thought that she could have a baby for this man and he would freaking marry her. She tried trapping his ass. The man did not bite. She was not marriage material. Men are responsible for relationships. Women are responsible for sex. They had sex. She decided to have a child. The man didn't want the child, unless it's a pookie and he didn't give a shit. Yeah, I got another baby mama. I racked up another baby mama. Once again, it's her. She screwed up her life having a freaking baby with pookie. Those are the only two reasons. She had a baby with pookie who she could not, but she could not get him to marry her. Or she tried trapping Chad and Chad said, no, you're not the one. And she thought that she could. But in both cases, the woman is responsible for the child. The man is responsible for the relationship. You would think to yourself, listen, man, these women can't be that stupid as to have a child for a man that she did not want to be her husband. Let me know, ladies. But in reality, how I think, there is no way a woman would do that unless she was trying to trap the man. Yes, yeah, she might want his seed, but she would still want the man there to protect and provide for her. But to say, oh, I want to have your baby, but I don't want you. Ha, huh, nah, that's rare. That's rare. I don't need no man. I almost feel like that's just the stupidest thing ever. But yeah, there are women out there that do it. Let me know what you guys think. As a woman, so I think my value has increased because as you get older, you learn. You grow, you mature. So that's why I think my value has- Man, to women do not gain value in men's eyes with wisdom, age, and experience. They gain value possibly in your husband's eyes, but not to just men on the market. You're older and used. No product gains value. And you ladies will sit there and fight logic. That don't hurt my feelings. I'm just, I call for- I'm not saying it's gonna hurt your feelings. feelings. It's the truth. Walking around with this 10 in, with this energy, like I, I know my value, I know it's it doesn't help you get the outcomes you want, mm -hmm. it works opposite. And we're back full circle, just like the first video we started with. We have Mr. Samuels, the goat, the greatest of all times, telling women, just like Myron did on Fresh and Fit, just like I am telling you the same damn thing, men do not value older women just because they have more life experience we do not value that because all we see it as is baggage women carry their scars as baggage men carry the same type of scars as life experience that he can learn from women need psychological help to get rid of that shit.
Women were never, ever meant to carry scars. Men go into battle. He is required to carry scars in order to prove that he's a freaking man. And you understand the, the star, the, and I hope you understand the scars I'm talking about. These are life emotional scars because those are the things that teach us as men. But for women, it's psychological damage because they hold it. They are more emotional. They tend to hold those scars as emotional damage. Where men look at it logically. We see, okay, we've done that. That's the mistake I made. I will never make that mistake again. Learn from it. Move the hell on. Where women need therapy. <laughs> and I say that, but I'm laughing, but it's true. Sometimes I laugh at my own jokes. <laughs> Ah, all right, guys, listen, I'm going to stop it there. Let's have a discussion in some of these videos, okay? But thanks once again for listening to the end. Give me a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, all right? And remember, guys, whenever in doubt, always ask an older man. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.